Hi guys, VST here. Yet another video for the new Samsung One UI 2.5 running on my gorgeous Samsung S10 Plus. So if you have been following my channel, you might already have heard the news that I managed to install the One UI 2.5 update on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus using the German firmware. If you want to do this and don't wait for the auto, check here. Everything very much described and I've also put the links down below in a section on my mega account So you don't have to wait like six hours to download the ROM, but okay right now I want to show you guys Some of the top features from the Samsung Galaxy One UI 5. The first application I want to show you is the new weather app It is pretty much redesigned it right now includes some very nice and fluid animations So you have the weather here you can see the forecast for the next several days can get some more little data and even some news by the way also information on the uv index sunrise sunset all the standard stuff i would say but just the animations right now are very very cool very fluid again and here you get this nice animation too so if it's raining if you have a thunderstorm and etc so thumbs up for the new weather application i would say it's a nice redesign all right the second i think big change in the latest one year 5 here is the edge panel and not a lot of people actually are using the edge panel but if you do so right you can just swipe there and right now you are able to access your written applications right here the first four one are your written application and actually there is a very thin border here that separates the written application from the ones that you can put on the edge and by the way right you can also access all application from the edge panel so if i click here guys you can access all the application and you can even decide to put some applications you know here directly on the edge so let's say if i want to add a new application on my edge just gonna do like this all right and just okay you see what happens here all right and i can go and i can add up to 22 new applications all right so i think there are some nice changes to the edge panel i myself have to be honest with you i'm not using it so much but i know you know people are really using that one okay now some very nice new additions to the samsung stock keyboard okay let me just show you guys when you use the stock keyboard i think first all the suggestions they are very fluid as well so hello okay darkness <laughs> my old friend okay this was almost all right you see very nice I think this was not the case before and now listen look what happens when I turn the phone in the landscape mode boom you can apparently go directly into the split mode and there are some other new additions so if you click here on these settings from the keyboard let me just show you guys right then apparently you can go to style and layout the second not but the third one here in style and layout you can choose apparently the modes so port view you can go directly for the standard keyboard or the one-handed keyboard and in the landscape view you can even go for the floating keyboard so let's say i want to write something right now okay we have the standard view if i go like this i should have the floating mode right so i think this is really really cool okay so new important features of the samsung one year 2005 and for me maybe one of the most awaited feature and of course is in the camera right so first guys you know i think the camera has become a little bit faster right you see it's not of course like zero shutter lag but i think it's very very close right now and i might need to clear my lens but it doesn't change the fact that you can do quick photos right it is really faster than before and also the single take has been improved right now from here you can apparently choose you can go let's say and do let's say just five seconds of single take right so let me just do it like that and right now i'm just capturing these moments before that right now you can really determine the amount of the single take you want to shoot and that's really nice okay but the most awaited change here into the camera is of course when you go to more the pro video mode and the pro video mode i think is revolutionary because right now you apparently can choose the direction of the microphone recording right so if you click here you can choose omni which means that you're going to record with both mics you can go just with the rear mic recording or just the front mic recording guys and you can also hook up a usb-c microphone or even a microphone you now with the bluetooth and here guys i want to show you here something very very interesting and you, if you happen to have the samsung blads like i do right i'll just connect them to my phone by the way so let's just make sure that they're connected okay you see right now the bluetooth icon becomes visible and right now you see i can really capture sound from the bluetooth headphone and that's really incredible because if i have to shoot a video guys you know i can even put this somewhere you know two three meters away from me and i will be making sure that i'm capturing sound you know directly from my headphone and this kind of like acts like a separate microphone next thing i want to show you guys is the new 
options for the always on display. So if you go here to the display and then you need to scroll down a little bit and just search for always on display. And then right now, if you click the always on display and then of course you click the clock star, right? So it's not so easy to find, but also not so hard. Then apparently guys, you're gonna be presented with a lot of new options. So first you have new clock styles, but something very important here, if you click on that one, right? You can apparently now even load an animated GIF. And this is really crazy because I'm not sure if I've seen this implemented somewhere else. Like in the Stockholm, right? So now, right now, I have an animated GIF, right? So I can set it down. I can go now to show always. And when I will lock my phone, guys, this should appear on my phone. So how crazy is this right now? We have an animated GIF, right? Has a always on display. This one right now is not moving. So let me just try to find something better because I think I tested it with this parrot and the parrot was indeed moving. So I'm just sitting right now the parrot, just closing the phone and we should be seeing now the parrot. Okay, right now I can tell you it's probably not a very good idea to have an animated color GIF, you know, on the always on display, but it is a nice option. And I'm really happy that Samsung finally allowed this into the One UI 2.5. And guys, the other much weighted option is the new wireless DeX. So if you go here and just press DeX, you're gonna have like three options, right? You can connect it to your PC via cable. You can use an HDMI cable right now. And you can just see, I can even connect wirelessly to my TV using the Miracast protocol. And this is really, really crazy because you can just see right now, you know, I can apparently use the Samsung desk on my TV, guys, I'm just gonna focus this a little bit for you, right? And then I can also use my phone in the same time. And the other good thing is that apparently you can also try to use, you know, your phone as a touchpad. Okay, I can just share, guys, I can just open, for example, settings here. You know, it's going to act like a standalone PC. In the same time, you know, I have my phone, and even if you play a YouTube video, you can choose where the audio should come from, from the phone or from the TV. So I'm going to navigate here to my applications, as you can see here. All right, okay, right now I have started a YouTube video, you know, on the TV and right now, you know, I'm not hearing a sound, but I can definitely turn the sound from the TV or if you wish, you can also use the audio output and bring it to your phone. So you see, I can apparently choose right now my TV and I can apparently choose also my phone. So let me just go. Yes. You can play the phone audio and you can go to TV. Right now I'm connected to my decoder, so that's why I don't have sound, but I tested it and it works. And I think guys, those really things are some very great additions to the Samsung One UI 2.5. So all these new options and features are pretty much welcome. And again, I just can stand up and do a very nice applause for Samsung for really upgrading the One UI 2.5 with all these nice requests. And if you like this video guys, you know what you do. Please share it, like it, but mainly subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos like this. Guys, I want to wish you have a nice weekend and we see each other together again very, very soon. I hope VSD over and bye.